Okay, hear me out. What if extinction wasn't forever? A Dallas-based company says it's actually rewriting history one gene at a time. And tonight we go inside Colossal Biosciences' new headquarters. Uno, two, one, two, three. I think that we kind of accidentally broke the internet with the uh, woolly mouse. Dallas-based biotech company Colossal Biosciences is currently making waves around the world with one bold mission, bringing the extinct back to life. In March, the team created Chip and Dale, the world's first woolly mice, and the first step towards resurrecting the woolly mammoth. Then in April, the dire wolf, unseen for more than 10,000 years, now walking and howling once again. Hello. Hi. For Colossal's new chief biology officer, Dr. Andrew Pask, this isn't about playing God. It's about saving what's left. Why the extinction? Why is that so important? So we've lost species on Earth at a rate that has never been seen before. And because of that, we've really started to erode our ecosystem. According to the World Animal Foundation, up to half of all species could actually become extinct by 2050. Pask, who's from Australia, plans to bring back native Australian species like the moa bird and the Tasmanian. And tiger. It's really important that we're using these technologies to save a lot of the Australian species, but also leveraging all of those technologies here in Dallas, but also globally. But the big question is, how does this all work? Will scientists actually extract DNA from ancient bones, match it with living relatives, and then use gene editing tools to rewrite the genetic code, a process that can actually take decades? Just a set of molecular scissors, we would call it, that can actually go in and cut the genome at very precise sites and enable us to put different sequences in. Hey, it's you, Mr. DNA. A DNA strand like me is a... And yes, the comparisons to Jurassic Park are everywhere. But in reality, the science is far more precise and far less cinematic. Dire Wolf story came out, I was very skeptical. People that are saying that the entire animal was cloned, and that's not the case. There was 14 genes that were edited. Dr. Deanna Soper is a biology professor at the University of Dallas and has actually closely studied evolutionary biology. And she says de-extinction could have unintended consequences. I teach all of my students this. Every single species plays a role and plays a part. We can't just start manipulating entire ecosystems and expect that there might not be significant, potentially damaging uh, impacts. So Back inside Colossal, Pass gave us a tour of the company's new Dallas headquarters, set to fully open in just a few months. And with more than 100 scientists working across the globe, this team is not slowing down anytime soon. So for all the people watching at home who are probably thinking, what is this lab doing? Don't mess with Mother Nature. What would you say to them? We've sent so many animals extinct that I think we're at a place now where we can't not embrace this technology. We actually, we morally are obliged to use this technology now to bring back and repair some of the mistakes that we've made in the past. Now, in the story, we mentioned Jurassic Park. And so you're probably wondering, can Colossal actually bring back dinosaurs? And as cool and as terrifying as it would be to see a T-Rex stomping through the streets of Dallas, that's not happening. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth more than 65 million years ago. And so their DNA, it's far too old to replicate or recover. So the Jurassic Park idea, it stays in the movies. But animals like the woolly mammoth, they only went extinct about 10,000 years ago, meaning they're both DNA is actually still intact. So while we won't be dodging any dinosaurs anytime soon, some of these other species could actually make a comeback in our lifetime. Amelia McGalvro, CBS News, Texas.